Happy Friday, people. What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Every Man is a Millionaire. Today, we get into some stuff that's a little deep. Let's get wealthy, y'all. But first, an economic message. First, we got to talk about some things before we can get wealthy. First, we got to build the foundation to become wealthy. And we're going to talk about that. If you're new here, I'm Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do is we get money, we get wealthy through hustling and entrepreneurship. That's forming a business. Uh, we don't do any investing, quote, stock market, Bitcoin. We don't do any of that here. Uh, what we do is sales, marketing. We build businesses. That's how we get wealthy here. If you need more information, go somewhere else. Thank you. Also, if this is your first time here, be sure to go below and get on the text notification list. YouTube does not send everyone notification that a video or live stream is dropping. So if you want to get this information hot off the presses, you need to get on that text notification list. So with that, I'm going to read something to you. Yes, I'm going to read to you to make sure you get it. And some things that just went down and some things that you need to know about. So let's begin. No more Facebook group, but a ton of training. Today was a sad day. I decided to close down the Disruptive Mail Facebook group and make some big changes. I had some good people there and I had some people doing some fucked up things like posting ratchet videos, posts over and over again. Regardless of the warnings, it was like a chronic disease. While quality posts were ignored. I see this dynamic with my YouTube channel, good quality videos that don't promise of media gratification, but will change your life are somewhat ignored. I got to say that there's a, something better going on on here, YouTube here. Um, people seem to get the message and take more responsibility. I think the F in Facebook is for fuckery. Um, I will say that YouTube's much better at sharing this message. So that's where I will spend my time. So thank you to all of you wonderful people who get the message, who take action, who are getting these results. Appreciate y'all. Uh, there will be a lot more of these videos. Now with the Facebook group, I made a mistake. I thought showing the results of game, getting freedom, getting power, getting money, getting women which was the byproduct of hustling would get people excited and spurring folks to take action. Man, I was silly there. I was really silly. My assumption was mostly false. Some people are willing to put in the work. Let's go again with that. Some people are willing to put in the work. Most people want the result, but not the work that it takes to get the result. More on that in a minute. Also, I saw some people don't fuck with me because I don't limit my dating choices to black women. This is something else that's immersed. I felt that more in the last 12 months than I have in my life. I got black folks who have more of a problem with it than white folks. Very interesting. So you're not going to roll with me because I don't date black women exclusively. Your loss. What is funny is some of these future, in the, some of these people in the future will date non-black people. Now, why am I putting this in here? Uh, during the Facebook group, I saw this thing happen, right? Where I had people who, once they realized that I've dated non-black women my whole life, that was like, hey, I can't listen to this dude anymore. And that's cool. Everyone can choose and pick their messenger. But it got really strange because I had people who for some reason that was just like, I'm going to throw out the Cadillac, the mansion, everything with the baby because he don't fuck with black women. Like I fuck with black women. Very interesting than that. So um, for all of those who think racism is holding you back and the only way to get the one way a black man can be a real black man is to be with a real black woman. We're parting ways. I, I ain't fucking with y'all no more. While people fight over that shit, the world continues to revolve. To be clear, I don't believe in that. I've never believed in that. 
I think people are people in time. History will prove me correct. I'm on the people side of the fence. And most of you are as well. We got some militant factions who just for some reason, I don't care how poor they are. I don't care how unsuccessful they are. I don't care what they do. They're going to stick to this. And I, I have a theory. People are building fortunes while black people discuss identity. Where you focus your time and attention is where your money is or is not. People are building fortunes while black people discuss identity. Where your focus, your time and attention is, is where your money is or is not. This right here is one of the biggest things that I have seen that has held so many people back because one of the reasons that I shut the Facebook group down is I had Josh, shout out to Josh. I had Stefan, shout out to Stefan, posting good articles. And they would go to the bottom and someone would post some bullshit and they'll go to the top and everybody wants to come in. And everyone, and even if they don't come in, you're clicking on it because it moves up to the top. And over and over, and the group was five months. I was going to give it six months, but I said, nah, I got enough information to pull the plug. Uh, people have been conditioned for fuckery. They're not conditioned to make money. They're conditioned for fuckery. It's um, it's crazy. I am sick of these long ass stupid conversations that go on and on with no end. If you don't think economics is the answer, which is what I've preached for the last nine years on this channel, cool. But when I ask you what are your solutions, I get a deafening silence. They don't have any solutions, but they want to argue me up and down about white supremacy, racism. Yet they ass is broke with the Cadillac parked in front of the, the projects and the TV up on the cement block. But they want to argue with me. More on that later. I'm putting in the work to be a solution provider, not a bullshit factory. To complain and to sit and whine with no application of a solution, that's just dumb. I wish you the best, but I can't fuck with you anymore. You are not ready for the future, and that is fine. You will be a worker drone. You will be outside the city behind the gates. You'll be poor as fuck, most of you. I'm taking my talents. Remember when LeBron said I'm taking my talents to South Beach? Uh, to people who care and pay. The group was free. I invested time and money in the group. Josh and Stefan were paid. That is over. I don't want people... I didn't, I didn't really post a lot of stuff in the group for people to buy. Uh, I rarely post the sales pitches. I did want people to be engaged on a non-ratchet basis. Some of you did that, so I'm grateful for that. But for the people who are still here, because I know I lost a lot of people when I came out with that. And the, the reason that I'm stating this is someone new will come to the channel and they'll like, yeah, I like this guy. And then they'll follow me on Facebook. They'll get in the group. And the minute they hear, oh, shit, he's an Uncle Tom, he's a coon because he puts his penis in white girls and he puts his penis in Asian girls and he puts his penis in Latin girls and he puts his penis in Asian girls and sometimes puts his penis in black girls. Fuck that. I can't follow nobody who ain't down, who ain't, quote, pro-black. And that's cool because I've never professed to be pro-black. Um. I see that being extremely limiting because let's see in the United States, we got 40 million white people, uh, 40 million black people, like 42, 46. I don't know the exact number. And we got a population of um, 329 million. So you're going to miss 280 million people to appeal to 42, 40. That just economically and numerically don't make any fucking sense, but that's what you want to do good luck to you. I ain't doing it. Uh, I've had this conversation with many people over the years and I've had this situation happen with people for a long time. And, you know, it, it's, it's sad because the numbers say otherwise. The money's in the numbers. And what you have is a company that will sell to black people, that will create products for black people's, uh, a BET, uh, hair care products, and they'll be bought, bought by a white company. So you, you, you're really sort of supporting black supremacy unless it's a, I mean, you're supporting white supremacy unless it's a 100% black company. But y'all don't care about that. Uh, y'all don't care about, you know, 
Byron Allen buying the Weather Channel, oh, because he's got a white wife. Silly shit, in my opinion. Um, for the people who are still here, do you ever argue with your teacher, your drill sergeant, your doctor? In most cases, the answer was and is no, but for some reason, for reason, people want to argue with me. I said last year, 2017, Bitcoin was going to crash when it was almost twenty thousand dollars. Sold all my Bitcoin, thought I was going to leave thousands on the table. Today it stands at six thousand three hundred and eighty-nine dollars, and it's going lower. Once again. And I've had many broke ass people with no assets, no business, no YouTube channel, never wrote a book. But it's like, you're wrong, Glenn, because I need this Bitcoin. I need it to be successful so my broke ass can have some money because I don't really want to do what you're telling me. I know what you're telling me works, but I ain't got time for that. I don't have 10 years to invest in the business. You know, uh -uh. I need my money now. So I'm going to go with this Bitcoin thing because I really don't want to work because I'm a lazy bastard. But hey, you know what? I'm going to argue with you and I'm going to call you wrong, even though month after month I've been right. When I said um, it was going to crash this summer, what did it do? It crashed, but still people like, my feelings are more important than your facts. People with no experience with making money long term told me I was crazy. People who drive a bucket by force, not by choice, told me to get on the train. People have no money in the bank post on Facebook. Why don't you believe in crypto, man? I explain and give solid answers. When I ask why they believe in crypto, I get nothing. I don't even get the respect of a reply. That I did not know I was talking about. I, was, I will tell you today it's going lower. I tell people the truth before it happens. Let me say this again. I tell people the truth before it happens, and that is still not good enough. I tell people the truth before it happens, and that's still not good enough. A nasty recession is coming. Get ready or be ran over. Once again, many of you have even dropped on Facebook and YouTube, and I take my hat off to you. I appreciate you folks. Glendon, you called it. Boyce Watkins and others were wrong. Uh, I'm your instructor. We're not peers. Many of you get that. Do the work, and boom, you get results and success. Without the respect that I've earned, I can't teach you shit. Without the respect that I have earned, I can't teach you shit. You will not listen because you think you're better than me, smarter than me, culturally superior, yet there are no results to prove that, none. But for some reason, you all up in your feelings. I started challenging people this year. I started putting dollars behind my opinion. I believe in X so much, I'll risk $10,000. Let's bet. Shut down the bull converse, bullshit conversations instantly. People were trying to figure out a way to trick me. Because, see, this is one of the first rules of betting. If I'm going to put down 10 grand, you need to put down 10 grand. Then we need to put the money in a mutually exclusive, uh, like a, an escrow account. So when I win that money, I get it. Uh, you know how many people ran from that? They were like arguing me up and down. But when we came down where we had to put some cash on it, put some money on it, uh, they, they, they ran away. And they stopped fucking with me. It's funny. It's one thing to have an opinion. It's another to back your opinion with some dollars. Everything that I tell you guys, I back with my money. Everything that I put out is something I have done or currently doing. It works. But... There are many people who don't want to do that, which is fine, which is good, which is great. No problem with that. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. But don't come on this channel. Don't come on my Facebook page talking that smacky smack shit with your broke ass. That's the thing that gets me. If you don't want to do it, fine. But you, yo, I'm telling you, uh, I was talking to my banker. Oh, yeah. Um, for a lot of you guys, your veterans, Chase Bank, Chase Bank opens checking accounts, both personal and business for veterans for free. All you got to do is take your DD-214 in there and this it will help many of you who are veterans to get your five accounts for free with Chase Bank. Uh, I was in there yesterday, opened up a new business account. Uh, for those of you in the art of holding, I got a story for you with the state of Georgia. So th that's coming. But once again, uh, Chase Bank gives veterans free checking, both business and personal. 
So that's why I talked because we, we were, I was there like two hours. Uh, and this is something funny that my banker said. He was talking about the bet, and he's like, you never get called? I said, no, statistically, there's like a 95% chance I won't get called. And he said, true. He said, most of them wouldn't even bet a week's paycheck because he said, you know, he knows what people make. He knows the number. He looks in the accounts. So with all that said, we're about to become a result-driven organization. No excuses, no whining, no racism, no prejudice, none of that bullshit. And one of the reasons I say that is because many – because uh, we have people of every ethnicity, every nationality that watch this channel. And my black viewers, because I'm black, have taken privileges that they have not earned. I don't want to see you going after somebody. I don't want to see you thinking that I'm like you. Because I have said for nine years, we don't use the N-word around here. But every now and then, I'll get someone to pop up because it's like, well, he just as ignorant as I am. He gonna use it like I do. No, no, no. And I'm gonna tell you the story. You know why I hate it? Uh, I was 11 years old, and my uncle James, who's a real good dude, he was cutting my hair on the porch. And I said, Uncle James, I want to be an entrepreneur. And he said, Niggas don't have that kind of intellect. And I was just like, I don't want to be like him when I grow up. That was the first thing that entered my head. I consciously rejected his low self-esteem of himself because he was a hard worker. He was a triple dipper. If he had started a business, it would have been successful But because he didn't feel that niggers had that kind of intellect. He didn't make a go of it. And he literally worked himself to death. And that's why I don't like that version of it because I think when you use it, you denigrate yourself. You self-denigrate. And it's interesting when you're saying that all of the time and you expect Anyone else doesn't respect you. I think it's stupid. I don't think it's plausible. But once again, people use it on their pages, their channel. Fine. We ain't using that shit around here. We ain't using this in my group. And it ain't because I'm afraid of Mr. Charlie. It's like one of the stupidest things that I think a black person can do. Right up there in the top 10. So once again, we're becoming a result driven organization, no excuses, no whining, no racism, no prejudice, none of that bullshit. Our focus will be following the methodology of economic empowerment, the 15 steps to wealth. A, manage the money you make to the max. If you don't manage your money, your money gonna manage you. B, set up the five checking accounts. It's very important. A lot of you are skipping over that. And for you vets, Chase will hook you up for free. C, set a budget. D, set up your holding company. E, create your operating company. F, start a hustle. Go four figures per month. G, manage and maintain that hustle while keeping your job. G, manage and maintain that hustle while keeping your job. It is going to take you a season to transition from a worker B to an owner B, to the king B. It's going to take you a minute, so you need the safety and security of your job while you're hustling. This is why I think just quitting your job with no plan, no action, nothing set up is just stupid as fuck. <clears throat> H, <clears throat> become debt free. I, build rock solid business, personal, and credit. I, build rock solid business and personal credit. I don't care. Cash is king. It's great to have cash, but you also need to have good credit. K, acquire some acquire income producing assets. L, build long term businesses. M, create a perpetual business. N, become physically better, work out. O, begin a self improvement program. And P, create a mental environment for success. Uh, these are going to be the 15 steps we're going to be working on. This is what people need to do. I know that some of you are already five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 steps in. Salute. I congratulate you. And I know a lot of you are never, ever going to take step one. And that's something I came to understand <clears throat> with the Facebook group. And once again, I'm not saying you bad people, but I ain't fucking with y'all anymore. I don't have time for that. I want heroes in my organization. So I am going to create another group. I am looking at other platforms, but it will not be on Facebook. Um, when I had Josh and Stefan trying to shut down the group, they limited them to 30 messages. I'm trying to tell people it's like, hey, we're closing down the group. And I posted in the group 
And I pinned the post in a still a lot of people didn't know the group was shutting down because Facebook had throttled the reach. It was only 900 and some people in there. So I would say maybe 200 got the message. If that, that's a problem. That is a serious, serious problem. So I'm just going to fuck with Facebook on a personal page level. I'm not building any businesses there. It's just, to me, it's not worth it. To someone else, they may do well. They may make it happen. But to me, um, Facebook is just going to be something that I use for play and political arguments. That's what's going to happen because um, we, we have a lot of people out here who want to be successful and they don't know how. And that's cool because I can say I can teach you how. And here's the thing. It ain't going to be overnight. Th this is one of the things you motherfuckers have got to get wrap your fucking brains around. You are not going to go from broke dick Danny to pay Percy in a week or a few weeks or a few months. It's going to take you a few fucking years. And as soon as you accept that and begin to act upon that truth, you're going to be in a great position. But as long as you keep holding out for the Holy Grail, that secret message, that's the magic jelly bean, you're going to continue to chase your fucking tail. And I am not going to participate in this exercise with you. Um, people who disagree with me disrespectfully, let me say this again, people who disagree with me respectfully, like they'll say, I don't agree with you and call me an asshole or a dummy. I'm just deleting your comment and blocking you because you're too stupid to talk to. I mean, uh, I posted on CNNs and very interesting that I have not gone back and forth with these people because that's what they want. But I'm just sitting there talking about, you know, Trump's working for me. Most of you are going to be poor in about 20 months when this recession hits and you be looking for a job. You remember this stupid, insipid conversation and these little insults. I hope you feel good. Because that's what's going to happen. Because whether Obama or Hillary or Trump, who is and all, the economic meltdown was still going to happen. Two words, tech and automation. You're going to see uh, a, someone posted on my, um, I think I, fo I found it. It was um, Domino's delivering pizza in a delivery car. There was no driver and you punch in the code and the window rolled down and you got your pizza. That's now we have the technology for that right now. The only reason that this hasn't taken over and gone full, you know, tilt is regulation. The truckers complaining and stuff like this, but in the next 10 years, you ain't gonna recognize America from a job standpoint, you will not recognize it. So you can either act proactively, begin your hustles, begin your businesses and get out of debt because debt is going to be the most crippling thing for a lot of people because um, they're not going to forgive these student loans. <laughs> they go to keep people trapped. And then folks with who, who are playing the real estate game wrong. Um, my banker and I, we talked about that. He said, uh, a lot of people he feels are going to be hurt because they're super leveraged and they don't know how to play the real estate game. So you got that going on, but it, it is very interesting how uh, so much of this is going to change. It really is. So I'm going to get into conversation here for a minute. Let's see what we got. What's up, Be Real? What's up, Cool Breeze? Ventress one. Uh, let's see. What's up, Jane Lass? Uh, there is no, the, the special ain't over. It's 150 bucks times 20 months. I was going to get that to leather. And if you are on the email list, you got that and the links below. But we'll talk about that later.
Gunja the group ha has empowered me, but people were deaf posting. But I know it, it was stupid, man. And I was spending like 20, 25 hours a week managing that. And it, it just became to be too much. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Where did the, all right, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Uh-huh. What's up, Agent J. Pull the, ver the vision of other people taking your if one winning with it, unfortunately, only makes haters. Small-minded and such, I guess. Could be. All right, Gerald. Charles, in fairness, sometimes you don't know what you need. Has people not recognize the gems of info or great videos? Funny how I can go back to older video I've watched live, heard something I missed. And that, that that's an excellent point because people need to consume the content and training three to ten times. Because, like I'm talking right now, and then maybe your phone rings, right? You'll miss five to ten seconds. Or maybe your, your child will come up and say, hey, dad, hey, mom. You'll miss a minute or two, and it could be some critical. So definitely. Ventures one, it's not like you display self-hatred or hate towards black women. No, it ain't it. It's just I've opened up myself to more options, and that's the problem. What's up, Christian? Let's see. I think this works better. What's up, Gerald? Blood is red, money is green, life is just hard without this info. I agree 100%, um, Ventures One. Excuses. I know Agent J. Paul. I'm reducing my Facebook time for two times a week. Gotta fight it. Uh, Facebook does things to intentionally make itself addictive. Uh, one of the things that I do with that is I've taken the Facebook app off my phones and I only stay logged in on one computer because you can get in there and you can lose two hours easily. So that's just some of the stuff I'm doing. Thank you, Gerald McIntosh. Appreciate you. Robert Anderson, have you thought about making a pay? Nope. See, we still have the same problem. Let's say we got a thousand people, Robert. They were like-minded. They were aggressive. They were on it. Facebook still throttles the reach. So even if people were in there, people were paid, they still wouldn't get the content. What's up, Jamar? <laughs> That's funny. Know about that chase action? I didn't even know that they, because it was sitting there, because I was uh, opening up the holding company for the real estate stuff, and you know we just went through the accounts, and he just said, "Yeah, you know, if uh, you're a veteran, you get free checking." I was like, "What? What?" I was like, "That was on time." What's up, Anton? Ganja, 88. Well, a lot of blacks don't realize when you improve your economics, you change the image of black people. And many people in the, per, in the world will start to view blacks in a more positive light. Can I get a hello? Man, that's a good comment. And that's something that I really thought would emerge. But as uh, Agent Shea Poole said, it brings more hate. I know, man, be real and a lot of people and see, I could talk that smack these smack because uh, the year will be over in two months and two weeks. So unless and the thing is, and let me give you a little analysis. OK, I didn't look at technical charts and Bitcoin. I looked at people. I looked at how people were spending because it is true. We have extremely the low unemployment. But another thing is true is we don't have wage inflation. That is something that happened when unemployment 
was true in its greatest period from like 1948 to about 1962. We had massive wage inflation. Anybody can get a job. We don't have that. There's something wrong. What's up, the DSLR Chronicles? Awesome mentor, Shelly. Josh Barr, Gallio told the truth and was imprisoned by the church. <laughs> Sad, but, but true. What's up, rock and roll, Dina? <laughs> okay. Camilla Willis always says good not to follow the crowd. What's up, New Juru Girl? I'm a fan three. Rock and Diva. <laughs> the color I see is green. Well, my uncle, he was a very good man. And see, he didn't have the right information. One of the things that would enable me to reject that was I was a voracious reader as a child. So I knew of certain things. And I was just like, I, I refuse. I know the self sabotage is crazy. No problem, man. I know what you meant. Gerald McIntosh. Now that's black power for real. If you ain't using that word, you're going to be better off. And there's a lot of black people who just don't use the word. But um, one of the things that we're going to get into, into the art of holding, hold on a second. I think, all right. I think, um, oh, okay, hold on. I, I didn't read all of it. Give me, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, the first thing you got to do is get away from this mental junk food that is fucking up your mental environment. It's killing your mental, thus murdering your success. I have some training that will support this, and the time I spent managing the Facebook group will now go into training, a lot of training. I assume that people who pay me more was a win, so I'm going to do it. I spent about 20, 25 hours a week managing the Facebook group. Yeah. 80 to 100 hours per month. That's a massive set of hours. So training is going to be a minimum of four days per week on various subject matters. Everything will flow from the 15-step methodology. The art of holding enhance includes game on 105, the art of holding and hustleology. And let's see. Hustle undergrad, you already have the courses. You don't have to email me. Game 105, you will be set up before the end of this month. This is for the people paying monthly. All right. So that was the part that I did not read and all right so we should be able to get out of here now cool all right be real i mean you you need both man you need cash and you need good credit what's up all around strong yeah google plus didn't make it michael he didn't it, it just didn't Cool breeze, man. You motivated me to start a hustle to pay for my medical degree. And that that's something else, because I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Um, all right. It just jumped. All right, cool. All right. Uh, Big J Rebel, the trucking industry is still in demand, but most people don't want to do that kind of stuff. The only reason that I think trucking is going to be around for another seven to 10 years is because the truckers have screamed and the teamster have screamed and they have pulled with lobbyists. Otherwise, it'll be a wrap in five years. But um, and I don't think <clears throat> human drivers are going to completely disappear ever. They're going to be specialized routes and stuff like that. Because there's part of the country that's not wired on the grid, so you're still going to need human drivers to get to those parts. All right, Cool Breeze. Jay Cleveland, appreciate you. Thank you, Troy Harrison. 
Anthony Johnson, if you're talking about that disruptive male group who was getting a bit out of hand, all the notifications about the bitchy shit. Pretty much. Yeah, that's why I shut it down. That's exactly why I shut it down. Because we we went through this period several times where we were trying to get people on this 15-step methodology. And I just realized that uh, people don't either believe that they can be successful or they're not clued in to being becoming successful. But anyway, I don't have time to mess with those people. And they're not like bad people and nothing like that. It's just they've been conditioned for fuckery and it's very hard to change that. Thank you, Anton Giss. Uh, Thriller, they will be starting as soon as I add you. Got a lot of people in the queue, so I'll be adding people to the end of the month. Swift Shop income stability is more realistic. Yes, it is. Uh, Barfield, go below and get into the Game 105 bundle. It's $149 per month for 20 months. And then after you do that, some point this month, I'm going to sign you up for the other courses. There's a waiting list. Well, there's a list of people I have to do. I try to add some people every day. Love London's, in your opinion, of course, eBay and they're all going to they're all going to survive the recession and some of them are going to even grow. Um, all right, uh, Gerald, uh, to get the art of holding, let me make sure that this is working okay to get the art of holding you go below and you sign up for the game 105 i'll actually tell you how it's like that when i started hustlers kung fu i had a problem with stripe stripe did not like the word hustler facebook does not like the word hustler so i had to go ahead have people sign up through paypal then add them to the course the reason that I want you to go to disruptedmail.org is you go ahead, you sign up, you get your login information, all that stuff, and then I can add you. And it's just instead of doing two separate steps, I can only do one now. Douglas Jones, if you do not read, you will never know some of the most important things you ever need to know to succeed. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Rock and roll, Dina. There's more knowledge in books than on Wikipedia. I would agree. <laughs> you got to go knock the dust off your DD214. Yeah, man, I did not know that Chase was getting down like that. It's a beautiful thing. Agent J. Poole is on fire today. Sheep don't follow steps unless it's for more stupidity and ratchet videos. JC Cleveland, thanks for the five dollars super chat. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm listening. I'm working to get to on that level. Uh, Big J Rebel, some people don't want to work. This is guy just quit from the job because he could not work on Sunday because he has season tickets to the Falcons game. Dude, I'm about to go on a rant on that. I'm about to go on a rant. What's up, Dwayne? Uh, yeah, I can't do the Facebook group no more, Christian. It, it just it just took too much time to manage. Thank you, Perceptions Media. Okay, going back to Big J Ribble. Uh, when we were moving in this house, um, my girl actually told me this. She said that it's going to be very hard to get someone on the weekend. I said, if they broke, it shouldn't be. She said, they don't care if they broke. Now, part of the reason that I don't understand that is I come from a generation where if there's an opportunity, you jump on it. Many people of the day don't jump on opportunities unless they like the opportunities. And going back to Big J Rebel, 
Guy quit his job because he did not want to work because he wanted to go to the Falcons game on the weekend. So instead of getting another job or, you know, doing uh, changing the schedule, he just quit. Now, part of the reason he quit, he could probably find another job. Hopefully he did. But when I was running my storage auction business, I frequently worked seven days a week. And when you say stuff like that to people, their eyes glaze over. Uh, there's two YouTubers who are talking about this. And they were talking about Gary Vee and not working hard. But one actually said for four to five years, he did everything that Gary Vee said. And that's one of the reasons he's successful. Now he's saying, don't do this. It's just strange. Chris Torres, hey, Glenn, that Fred's uh, Trump stream was an eye opener. I mean, it is because, see, this is what's going to happen. I mean, we're not getting political. If there was ever a time for you to create a tax shelter, for you to push the limits of what's happening with the Internal Revenue Service, the time is right now. Because the foxes not are not are only in the hen house. They're in charge of the chickens. They're in charge of the eggs. And they have the keys. Right now, uh, the next decade, you can do what you want. Is if it's if it's about building wealth, setting up LLCs, holding companies, show, you could do what you want. Uh, Thriller AI, I appreciate that, but I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go public. Ventures one, people don't want to work. They don't want to read this in the sales decision, but they want our time and information. Uh, it's definitely a lot of spoon feeding. Uh, Charlton, I tried to go with the flow and let you do your thing. I know most of your stuff has a master plan, but was I was tuning out for most of the posts on the FB. I normally would just come in every two or three days. So, I want you to really understand what Charlotte just said. Uh, we had a lot of really good people who were posting interesting posts, who were posting helpful posts, and they were being ignored. And a lot of the good people were just like, fuck this, I'm out. And that's what the group had to denigrate it to because uh, I'm going to talk about like O'Shea. O'Shea's done two streams recently talking about, quote, interracial dating. And it ain't about the interracial dating. Let's be clear about that. O'Shea's a good dude. He does a lot of good things. What it is is the intensity. If I go on O'Shea's channel and do something about economics, we'll get a good crowd, but not as many as the ones who show up for the interracial dating stuff. So let's take it apart. So people would rather watch a stream on opinion than to watch a stream that gives you steps to put money in your pocket. Now, why, why is this? It's because there is no price of admission to have an opinion. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything to have an opinion. You just have to run your mouth or type your fingers. But when there's someone presenting some economic advice to you, then you actually have to get off your fucking ass and do something. And that's kind of what was happening to the group because, you know, I had problems with women. And instead of whining about it and going on and hating women, I just developed some game. I developed some strategies and technique that work better than I could have ever imagined. But there's that word in there again, work. There, there, that, that word is a big, big problem. And um, we, we got people who would rather spend hours and hours and hours to get some pussy than to take that same time and get a business. Now, part of that is the imper is your um, imperative dr drive. It's your biological drive. Uh, I was watching this stream of these two handicapped people who had figured out how to have sex. And I was just like, damn, that biological imperative is strong as a motherfucker. Because even they wanted to get down, right? So it isn't just like that people are 
throwing out good information, but people are not taking discipline and, you know, taking time to improve themselves because they're letting the biological imperative run them versus they running the biological imperative. I actually had a chick break up with me once because I was still in the storage auction business and it was a Friday night and she was, she had been off for three days and I was like, look, I can't, you know, Saturday's a hot day. I got to be on. I got to go to bed early. And she's like, you're going to let this premium pussy, because she was super fine. And this is what she could describe herself. You're going to let this premium pussy go to someone else because you want to go to work the next day. And I, I got off my phone. I said, yeah. She said, okay. And um, she called up one of her friends and she just let me know. That, you know, if, you know, we could still fuck on occasion, but she just wasn't my girl. And I was like, you know what? That's cool. That's actually cool. Um, we could be friends, but I ain't fucking with you no more. I'm never going to fuck you again because she was a young girl and she'd rather be fucked than assist me in getting money. And she told me who she was. She told me who she was. And I was like, good Lord. This is crazy. And this is what many women will do to you. They will fuck up your game, fuck up your drive, fuck up your business because they want attention. And she was just like, if you didn't give me attention, I'll get some attention from someone else. Now, many years later, she's 40 pounds heavier. She got three kids by three different men. And I'm like, whoo, dodge the bullet. Dodge the big bullet. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, Gonja. What's up, Al Gordon, Christian Emerson? Superstar Customs. People don't want to be reminded of their shortcomings. They use entertainment to escape their reality. And I think uh, that's 100% true because um, this is why I did this stream the other day on personal agency. Many people don't know that they have the option to choose personal agency. And this kind of gets back into me. Um, I had someone email me. It's like, well, those white folks don't get you. No white folks don't want you living in their neighborhood. And I was like, those white folks? He said, yeah, you know. Now, this is what's funny about my new neighborhood. There's two black families on this street. Go around the corner, hit Mount Vernon, hit Herd's Ferry. There's like five black families on Herd's, family, or Herd's, Herd's Ferry. And I want you to go hit the Zillow and just put in like 425 Hertz Ferry, Atlanta, Georgia, and then check out that street. I know for a fact, because I see the kids walking, I see them walking in and out the house. There's five black families on this street. And this ignorance, and I'm, a, I'm just keeping a buck, as they like to say on these internet streets. You got two, you got a, you got the civil war in the black community. And it's the progressive blacks against the ghetto motherfuckers. And the ghetto motherfuckers will be loud. They will do whatever they want because they want the attention. See, like um, on my Facebook page, there was this thing with T.I. had created this museum and um, the real estate guy, Jay Morrison, was there. And I was just like, that's some fucked up shit. Because it was some ghetto shit. It was drugs. It was guns. And people were like, yeah, this is cool. No, it's fucked up. And I had someone argue me up and down about that shit. It was crazy. Let's see. Effie programming. Uh, oh, ganja. I'm checking myself on the aspect. I'm prone to that differences. Now I'm aware. Now that that is a very important step to become aware of the behavior. That's like 50% of the game to become aware because many folks are just doing this stuff and they don't realize how harmful it is. Uh, Charles and FB is programming people to a certain extent, just like television. I agree hundred percent. We step back a few days and just casually read. It's easy to see hot button, hot button, hot button. And uh, yesterday, I actually reprogrammed my Facebook page because people are like, why is he posting so much? I started posting and sharing stuff from people who never put up fuckery. They just put up funny stuff. And because my page doesn't really get hit with a lot because I don't really do a lot on Facebook. Uh, Facebook advertising rarely hits my page. But you have to be mindful and aware of that.
Thank you, Mr. Lane. Oh, she she's kind of screamed. I mean, she found me on Facebook. Thriller, I have a friend in the film industry that told me he and some partners set up a religious entity just to take advantage of tax benefits. Let's put it this way. Whatever you want to do, this is the time to do it. I know, Anton. Uh, let's see. Douglas Jones, my ex fiance, one day called me at work. I told her I couldn't walk, couldn't talk. She told me if I hung up on her, she would call every number on the floor. I hung up, she did. She dramatically accelerated my demise. <laughs> Damn, man, that's crazy. Uh, Ray LLC, a good woman will help you get to the business to the next level. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Charlotte, the museum is just as janky as a Civil War museum. Both are history, but why would you just want to celebrate it when you look behind the covers? I know. Gerald, anti-social media been off of three years now. Best thing I could have ever done to start changing my life. And that was another issue. Um, there's a lot of folks who hate Facebook. So whatever, because right now I'm doing research on what I can use as the next group and it'll be our Facebook. And I was like, you know what? Instead of just grabbing some and testing it, just um, take your time and find something appropriate. It is a war, man. It really is. Anthony Johnson, that's why I listen to guys like Nipsey Hussle. As far as music, he keeps me on my grind. He preaches that it's a marathon, not a sprint. That's his campaign. He's telling you the truth. Uh, Vaughn B. Yep, Hurts Ferry. Big brother in life. Do you think moving to Thailand for a year is a good? I don't really know, man. I really don't know. I mean, that's an individual decision. I can't help you on that. I mean, y'all go. You, you're gonna have to flesh that out on your own. Because I'm gonna tell you, my ass ain't going anywhere. And actually, that's a good question that has led me to this thought. Once in my life, I used to go outside of Atlanta to meet girls. I was living in a boarding house. It was in a very bad situation. And at one point, I thought about leaving the U.S. because I had a situation. Then I was like, you know what? Put your thinking cap on. Figure this shit out. And the more successful that I became, the less that these desires presented themselves. I mean, when I did my video on the other channel talking about American pussies, the best pussy ever, and a lot of people who took exception. And one of the things that I haven't done, and I'm going to start doing is giving more context because I don't, I don't say this glibly, but I've had sex with more women than most of those guys combined. So my perspective is way different than their perspective. Their perspective could be a ratchet perspective. Um, their perspective could be one of lack. So, and then there was someone, and this is another reason I accelerated the group, the, the demise of the group, was this whole notion of paying for pussy. All men pay for pussy. Absolutely, positively not. There are some men, women pay them to have sex with them. But once again, this is an old school notion. Is um, I think that many of these people um will have to literally go to go on, pass on for a lot of this bullshit to disappear because it's deeply rooted in who they are. It's deeply rooted in how they behave themselves, just like racist ass white people. They're, they're going to have to die before this concept of racism dies because they're going to inoculate as many people as they can with it. And this is one of the things that you learn when you date other people. I had a girl, actually I had a few white women that chose me over their families. 
And man, when you get someone who is like a microphone in the room and stuff that is said, because she um, was telling me that she was went to this gym and there was three people and they were like, yeah, we don't have no black folks here. And she said, why would you even say that to me? She said, I'm just letting you know it's cool. So you have a lot of racist ass white people out there who like to say this stuff because they're shook. In 20 years, they will not be the dominant population. And they're scared because a lot of them have done some fucked up shit and they know it was wrong. And now these chickens are coming home to roost and they're scared. That's why Trump's in office. Let's see. We got some super chats here. Thank you, Cool Breeze. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jay Cleveland, for the $5. Cool Breeze for the $10. Christian, thanks for the $20. Appreciate you. Uncle G says, I've been listening to you. I got a studio apartment making $4,000 a month outside of my regular job. Comfort level of one of the women working on Quandrus 1 and 2. Thank you. Damn, son. You're making fifty k a year on top of your job. That is winning like a motherfucker. <clears throat> that is the stuff that will change not only your family but the future of your children. Man, that is this is this is this is what I like. This is what I like to see. And there's people, um, Bolden, Arden Bolden. You know, he had put in there. He was saving like a G a month, and these posts. They just kind of get ignored. And I don't know if people feel like they can't do it or it's too much, but that was the purpose of the group. I mean, Christian and Kubris, you're the guys that make this thing run because you're taking the information, you're taking the training, and you're running with it. So, man, congratulations, Christian. Congratulations. I'm going to look around for some stuff because – this whole week I've been in thinking mode. I had so much shit to do. I had a lot of stuff to set up. Uh, got my LLC approved. Had to go to the bank. Had to sub. I, I have been out of the house more this week than I have been in months. Ganja, the man that was arguing about paying for pussy was acting like a bitch. He continued to argue even after the argument is finished. See, I'm going to peep you out to a little secret. And Ganja, since you're in the group, you know about this. People who don't use their face as their Facebook picture, or avatar, whatever you want to call it, the YouTube, they have an inferiority complex. That's the first thing. Anytime you see someone who is not using their face, they don't think they look good or they're embarrassed by their looks or something. They're hiding something. So right off the rift, I already knew because he was trying to get me into cryptocurrency and some other stuff. And I was just like, I ain't interested because I do believe in cryptocurrency. I just think we're seven, 15 years away. And as soon as it melts down, I'm probably going to get myself some XRP and some other stuff, you know, once I get into it. Kubris, I believe there are two types of people, ones that are helping, ones that are hindering. Ooh, ooh. Good Lord, if a woman is taking more money out of my pocket than putting it in, I have to cut it off like my girlfriend. Damn. Dot com. Do you have any advice for a single father of three trying to start building wealth and starting a business? You know, this is going to sound very contrary. Dot com. But you got three kids, right? So you got a choice. You can get money or you can raise those kids. So. Here's my advice to you. You need to find a mother for those kids. Because if you go ahead and become really successful as a single father, kudos to you, but your kids will be missing shit. So what you need to do, in my opinion, is set yourself up to get yourself a serious helpmate because you can't do it all by yourself. Just like I would tell a single woman the same thing. Because um, the, the paradigm is the same. One good loving parent is great, but it ain't enough. It just ain't enough. Barfield, this channel helped me a lot more. You know, Glenn, I think you're changing my life. Excellent, Barfield. Love to hear that. All right, Arston, I'm not ugly. I use my company logo, but you're right. <laughs> Seriously, uh, peep this. How many chicks, you know, for you guys who, who are dating online, 
How many of you chicks have seen chicks you know in real life using pictures that are five, six, seven, eight, ten years old? That's the last time that they thought they look good. The Genesis Project. When everything you said, I've literally seen play out in my current job like a sitcom rerun. Can't thank you enough for the knowledge you bring to the front line. Awesome. Jug God, what the, that's that's a serious name. I mean, the question is, what do you think about a seasonal business? See, this is the thing. There is no magic business. I know a guy who sells flags. Not exactly very exciting, right? He sells flags. He does five million a year selling flags. He has a staff of five. He has a small warehouse, and he is shipping hundreds of flags per day. He sells flags. American flags, state flags, school flags. He sells flags. <laughs> so it ain't the business. It's the man or woman behind the business. Far feel I've been catfished a few times with old pictures. Man, it is funny. Oh, uh, I'm going to probably do a whole special on this on the other channel. When I came back from L.A., well, well, when I went to L.A., my app went crazy. So if you're using Bumble, I, I'm, I'm assuming because there, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do about this, but I'm assuming that it resets for a new city and you will get matches like crazy. And then when I came back to Atlanta, same thing happened. So if you're traveling, just know that your Bumble app will reset. Ganja, anything sales? Joe Ray all the time. One time a girl used pics for a girl I knew from Boston. Wow, man. that That is crazy. That is really, really crazy. But, you know, this is just an introduction into what's going on, how I'm going to run things differently. Uh, I'm sad that the group had to be shut down, but the feedback was a lot of the good people, the, the ratchetness, the fuckery post, the 70, 80 slant toward women and game versus in the 20% on business. It just wasn't cutting it for the serious folks. And, you know, like I said, I will try anything. But when I look at the math, I look at the numbers. I make these decisions based on the numbers. And the numbers said, this thing is not working. And I've gotten a lot of people like our um, Charlton 19 just said and someone else said, and that's the reality of it, that I think Facebook promotes and is a breeding ground for fuckery. And it's not a place for serious discussion. So, uh, like I said, give me until the end of the month to find a replacement and then uh, we'll hook that up. Big brother in life, what are your views on real estate investing? You just showed up. I just opened up a holding company for a real estate company. That should tell you. All right, Dustin. Yeah, because Christian is the hero of the day. I mean, what Christian makes in addition to his job is more than half of what America makes in their full-time gig. More than half, he makes more than what half of America makes as a single person. Uh, single person income is 28 to 32K a year. I'm telling you, it's, it's a different game, man. Uh, Nick, I'm going to have Nick on. I meant to do some in LA with him. I'm going to have him on another channel, but we're not going to talk about YouTube. We're going to talk about Thailand. And I got another guy who lives in Bali, because I'm also changing the content on Disruptive Mail because you got two choices, and I'm going to take this choice. I can be an educator, I can be a teacher, or I can be an entertainer. And there's no bad, you know, there's nothing bad about being an entertainer. Uh, most of the people in the dating thing are entertainers, and the entertainers do much better than the teachers. So I've made this decision that I'm going to be a teacher and I'm going to go with that because uh, to the videos that I put out, uh, which incidentally have a lot of comments 
but not as many views as other videos, but a lot of people dug that content and I'm going to keep doing that because you know, I got a choice here. I'd rather be a, a, a teacher. I'd rather be an educator than an entertainer. And this isn't to say that, you know, entertainment is bad because I think I have a channel ideal for entertainment, but you know, you just can't serve two masters. You just can't. Zola, Facebook follows the if it bleeds, let it lead. Jimmy, be gaming, Google app. Uh, Christian Monroe, real estate is changing my life. Made 15K in 45 days of wholesaling with 25 pending and escrow due to close next month. Yeah, I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to speak on it because I got to get more into it, but I got my first property and um, I'm going to talk about it because I was actually talking with a place that I rent my office and we were talking about it cause she's doing some real estate and it's, it's just a different game. There are, um, there's a thousand and one ways to get wealthy. And I think many people are looking for cheat codes, right? And I don't have any cheat codes. I'm going to give you the real game. I'm going to give you the truth. But the reality is you're looking at, like, say you start a YouTube channel, you're looking at a two to three year journey. And I know you'll see people who are literally blow up in a year, but you don't know what those people did. And I'm not talking about they did some strange or some change, but they worked really, really hard. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Jeffrey Stan. So there is no teenage subconscious book. What's up, Green Machine? There is none. Go to Amazon, Google the power of your subconscious mind. Now, let's kind of get into uh, Gerald. Your experiences are helpful. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. Let me see if I can do this because I got to be careful. Uh, let's see. Let me tell you guys what's coming. Uh, Okay, got that, and this seems to be moving pretty fast. That did not. Okay, I don't think I need to. I think I do need to sign in. Aha, uh -huh. I think that, give me a second. I've been, I've been really, really busy this week. Busier than I have been in a few years because um, one of the things that happened was that my LLC did not get approved on the first go run, right? So that caused me some stress. It took like a month to get that together. And um, all right, I'm not going to be able to get into that. So I got to go here. I'll probably just do a special video on that. But what's going to happen is Game 105, which I can show you. The Art of Holding and Hustleology is going to be all wrapped up in one curriculum. Because that's what I think everybody needs to start. So, I'm going to get this. And this has got a lot into it. And next week, I'm going to work on the first steps, the reprogramming, and this. Because all that time that I was spending managing group, and that, that was another reason that I killed it, because it was becoming more time-consuming to manage. And when I hit like 20 hours a week, because you know it wasn't like I was sitting down just doing 20 hours in one go, 
But when I hit 20 hours, 25, I was like, this is too much time. And people are not engaging the way that I want. So command decision they had to go. Now I know that I have, let's say, 100 hours a month to put into this. And that's when I'm going to put it in there. And there will be some kind of group, but I'm not just going to, because the thing is, everything looks good, right? On the internet, you sign up for a free trial. But there was one that looked very much like Facebook, but I saw how that might become a problem. And then I'm going to take my time. I'm going to sign up for the platforms and test them before I unleash them on the group. But what I'm going to do is have this group, wh whoever it may be, and I'll have the Hustle Undergrad people there, and I also will have the art, uh, yeah, this new thing that's just started. This just started today. I'll have these people there, and we're just going to do that, and then I'll leave a lot of the free content here on YouTube. That's how I'm going to do it, you know, for the rest of the year because it makes sense and I can up my training schedule, which I am a little, I am a little behind because I was in LA for a week. And if you ever get a chance to go to vid summit, go, uh, it is expensive, but one of the things that will happen is the people that you meet will be just as important as the speeches, the stuff you hear, because you can actually watch them afterwards because they will have two or three sessions going on at the same time. And this is from like eight o'clock in the morning to 5 p.m. And it's hot and heavy. You feel like you, you've been in school. So. But the link is below. Just go below and get into the game 105. And what's going to happen is you're going to get game 105 first. And then I'm adding people. And then for the. Beginning of the year, once I hire my assistant, I'm probably just going to create a separate portal for new people that will be integrated where I won't have to do all of this stuff. Because let's take Facebook, right? I put up a big notification that the group was shutting down. And there are many folks who did not see that notification. And then Facebook had this situation where you can only email 30 people a day. So that was like 60 people a day. So it would have taken like almost two weeks to email everybody. Then because Facebook limits this, we don't even know if people would have gotten the message. That is a problem. And then people who join the group, I said, get on this email list. They did not get on the email list. So we have a lot of things going on. Uh, big burn in life. I do real estate wholesaling in the, the DMV. What do you mean 101? It, it starts at 105. Perceptions. I don't know, man. People are addicted to face, uh, Facebook, man. They're addicted. I love this Christian consistent effort every single day, pretty much trying to execute on everything I do. And that's the ticket. Cause there is no one thing. All right. I, I'll give you an example of my week and you haven't seen the thumbnails because when I went to Viz summit, I signed up with this thumbnail uh, company that makes thumbnails. Cause they're very, very important if you do YouTube and they average out to about 12 bucks a thumbnail for the package that I bought. Now, I've been doing that. Well, let's see. Kind of give you, uh, I'll do that later. And then I had to get my LLC stuff. Then I had a lot of meetings with people. Then my car, was, I mean, it, it's just like crazy this week. So next week, even though I'll be doing more training, it's actually going to calm down. All right, for those of you who want to get in on the new thing, go below. The Art of Holding Enhance. You will be signed up at 
disruptivemail.org. Give me a little time, a few days, a few weeks to get you over to the other thing. Because the thing is, I got to create a list and I have to keep up with it and update it and everything. I have to create a database because there's so many people. So go ahead and get into that. And then what is today? I got an event tomorrow night. So either Sunday or Monday, we'll start with the training again. Let's just say Monday, just to be sure. We'll start with the training again, and it's going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the training is not all going to be on the same platform. It's going to be training in Game 105. There's going to be training in Hustle Undergrad, and there's going to be training in the Art of Holding because I just learned a lot of new stuff. And once again, if you are a veteran, Chase Bank will open up any account for you for free. You just got to roll up in there with your DD-214. They will open up any account for you. And I was just like, oh, my God, I'm doing all my banking at Chase now. DMV Pat only follow pages on real estate or some type of investing. I don't even add people from high school. <laughs> that is funny. All right. So that's the content of this. I just had to get all the stuff off my chest and um, put that out there because, you know, we're going to be an action based organization. And there's a lot of people, for whatever reason, they don't want to put in the action. They don't want to put in the work. And they really are just sucking up a lot of life energy. And it's just, they ain't enough energy to go around. All right. So once again, you can get the free books. That's going to be a mainstay. Uh, the Art of Holding Enhanced. That's below that. You can get that and start on your game tonight. And if anything, get on the text notification list. Once again, YouTube does not send notifications to everybody who watches the video, who's even subscribed, even ring the bell. You still will not get a notification. Only a certain group. Uh, I think it's the people who watch the videos the most already. So people who would have been here anyway, people who search out the content, that's who it sends the notification to. Not the folks who, who need the notification. It's just wild. All right, so you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to have a great weekend. And then we're going to rock and roll very hard next week. There'll be some more stuff that's coming. So with that, I will talk to you guys later. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020 what this is because you know there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an fba course or you'll have a how to run ads course but there's no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions i'm in a click funnels group and i just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education so what i'm putting together and this is from learning from this this is b school for hustlers um funny thing is I, I created this about three years ago and i created a stripe account for it and the stripe account was still open so apparently they don't have a problem with b school for hustlers so in, in any case we could get around that but let me take you through the whole process now this will include an updated version of the art of holding and i'm going to get into that 
So you got two ways to get in here. 1600 one and done and 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here and this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do and let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B school for hustlers. You like that? You like that? You are the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right, here it is. So what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses. Once again, the courses are not done. As these courses come online, like how to market and sell on YouTube, that will be a course and you know it's not a hundred percent ready and how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy that's going to be a course the strategic holding company how to set up and deploy there's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward the Google Ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The Hustler's Mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The Money Management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the Money Game, how to play and win so what you're going to be doing is getting because i don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses and you know need to get rid of that because um Because I'm already got, I'm adding stuff here. And I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this. But I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up. a rugged, durable online business. Because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses, they're not bad. But the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive, uh-huh. So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this, $2.99. Let's get rid of that free. But essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. Because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that, you know, many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out 
So you will have these courses, they will be done, they'll be available. You will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this. I want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school, you know, and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out because there's some stuff I'm mulling over because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy. That's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustlers Mindset course second. Then you're going to do how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the strategic holding company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense. Because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? You, you, it, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um like the video I put on disruptive mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that and you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer. Right. This pricing is, you know, because I'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course. Then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick Danny to pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company. I've got probably 75% of the content already. So that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn and process and begin doing very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt. And that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But I feel that this is a welded rounded curriculum for you to make money online. Because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you. The power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month, and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because uh, 
this is the reason I'm starting new channels because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like disruptive mail, disruptive mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to disruptive mail and I'm starting to see results. So and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020. I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt. We will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic, organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you will you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff because I've got a budget I'm going to start running ads and I'm going to do a course after I get to running this so and you know how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit that's going to be a winning class so there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business and for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.